Frankie Borelli with the I'm a Creep song. He loves it. He's like slapping. Frankie, did you just slap your own five in there? Like high five to yourself? I'm kind of juiced up in the booth right now. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> All right. So, Francis, you're in here. Hey, everybody. We we laid the groundwork for for this story, and you blogged it, and your version of events, I assume, is pretty accurate on how it went down. Um and I, I, like, I was kind of caught, so I heard their version, which I, I guess is similar. They caught me in real time. Um, that was amazing, by the way. That What's you that? were reading as I was texting them that you were there. I had no idea that yeah, was happening. Yeah, I think that was part of like what they were doing. Uh-huh. Like they saw Oh, me. I knew they were trolling yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know that. Like, no, okay. I did. I knew. I even said it in my text back to them. No, no, you didn't know that I was part of it. I didn't know you were there. Okay. That's true. Okay, but that's, that actually is my first, like, what the hell were you thinking? Francis like Dave was with them you 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 slid into the DMs of some chicks that Dave was going to be with for three days and you thought that Dave would never hear wind of it no okay Kelly texted me okay you guys right. know that right right I did not initiate that conversation no, but you initiated the whole thing though well I I DM'd Danielle the day after she came into the office and said hey like let's go out sometime right but you actually asked for her number at the office. I ne- I did not. What wh- I thought you said that like I asked for her email address so that we could send her the video to make sure they thought it was okay before we published it. Yeah, but you were asking. You even said in your blog you were asking for her number, right? Basically. And well, like, then, so you can't say the shooter shoot thing and then pretend like okay. that was like no. So just, then what happened? And the manager was, you said like intercepted it. Yeah, she was like, take my email instead. I want to see it. Right. Which is totally understandable. Right. And then I came back upstairs, and Kelly was still here because she'd done the rundown. And I went up to her and said, hey, is Danielle single? And Correct. she said, I don't know. Want me to ask her in Houston when I see her? Because you said you guys had a connection, And I was like, right? yeah. And I, she said, why do you ask? Like, wink. And I was like, oh, I thought we hit it off. Right. And then she said, well, let me take your number, and I'll give it to her right. if – she likes you right got it so there was no point where i said hey take my number let me get your number i would i think you're diving pretty deeply into semantics here like yeah. you were well, I think it makes a difference well no, i, also I don't think know that it does I, my problem here is i think you're playing both sides of the fence because you're basically you're the you're the people's champ on twitter and selling shooters shoot shirts and now you're coming in here and saying it was all above board guys i was just simply asking to email my video to the pr people oh you, you're it's totally you're absolutely correct right my you goal can't have it both ways were you hitting on her or no, not because you can't right. tell everyone you were hitting on right. her and like Dan's look right. at francis he's yeah, doing of course he's thing. right and yeah, you can't right. go up to a girl and be like is she single to the other one that's <laughs> like as blatant as it is oh no i, I completely agree i, I wanted to so, get so a you, you're doing semantics being like hey i didn't actually say the number i just asked that she was single i could have her email and we had a connection but i didn't ask for the number dave i realized that you said me asking models that have been here for five minutes in the office for their phone numbers is a fireable offense and i was just trying to say i didn't it, do it, that it's absolute semantics what you're talking about <laughs> yeah. glennie you're having a him. blog open right now you say hey i should get your number so i could send this to you not email Ooh. oh well so that was I, the word I actually, you're written i actually i then so you, that's you a mistake asked, in my you blog you actually asked for that's you. okay that's, that's, very, that's that. very similar so to the i said i had cancer yeah, but i really I didn't right so like, this is but this is <laughs> this is my problem is you you've clearly first of all the Anyone who's mad at Dave is insane because Dave has only helped Francis here. You you now have uh, people saying like you know they know who you are more. You have an elevation of you know you probably what you get like three thousand followers this weekend. Also, I, right. mean, I th- what I wrote in the bottom yeah. of my blog, I it, his only chance was to be the, like the sympathetic like character which I made him into for these girls if there's but, a chance. But Glenny, you just. Yeah, eviscerated. Right, I know. Right, that, just we, got, that's the point. Like, you just you, you just came in and flat lied and got li- caught in a lie. You no, just I, lied to her face because you want to still be the sympathetic figure and the guy who's like shooting for the moons and shooting for the star and shoot or shoot. And then you just said that you didn't do that, but but you, you can't wrote play that, both ways. And, uh, you wrote I, that I, you did. I, I I said I said email. It was email. But then why did you write number in the blog? Because uh, I was drunk when I wrote that blog because it was 11.30 on Saturday night in Philly and K. Marco texted me as I was at fajitas with my friends drinking margaritas, ran out to a Starbucks with my laptop and blogged it and I wrote uh, wrote that. I got to be honest, that excuse holds no water. Like that's, I was drunk so I just said, 
phone number instead of email. By the way, I said beforehand, I think that's semantic. So I don't actually think it matters. I think what happens is okay. the same. Cool. But you you took a stand being like, I didn't ask for the phone number well, when I you know, wrote that. I know I didn't. So uh, I... You, you can know, see how we'd forget, be misled what I wrote because, the, the blog because you said that. I asked for email. Okay. Then... Maybe next time, write email instead of phone number. <laughs> and email's a lot less weird. My fault. Yeah, I don't. I actually think it's semantics. I think the asking like the single. So people did. Everyone's on your side. Shooter shoot all this stuff. I wrote the blog today, that and it's great content. Like I needed stuff there. I I it made things interesting. Those girls love telling the story. We got videos. So love the content. I also wrote and I stand by it. It's wildly inappropriate wildly inappropriate for these girls who come into the office and they're basically doing it as part of their business. They're promoting the swimsuit issue. They're promoting themselves to be hit on in that fashion while at the office. Like if you're, if you're going to do a DM later, that's what I did. You didn't. The next day I DM'd Danielle and said, Hey, let's go box. Are you, are you, are you approve this right now? You're wrong. Uh, You you, do you wrong. (laughs) You did it first here. No, I never DM Daniel here. But you asked you, for her her number, and you asked for her friend if she was single. Here's the here's that's the his I know you. Hit I, on. I here's know you DM'd him Daniel. later. It was I know great you DM'd with him you later. Yesterday. That doesn't is, that doesn't mean you didn't talk to him here in real time. I never hit on Danielle at the office. You asked for her number. Dude. I asked, asked for her email so that I could. Yeah, no, I, mean, I asked Kelly if Danielle. That's was right, but even still, thing. What Dave's point is, and it's it's something. It's a part of Barstool that I think the stoolies probably don't realize, but there is a level of us being professional when people come into our world who are not part of our world. There's a difference between, uh, you know, a Greg Olson showing up versus clearly someone who's come here for pr who is here for their job who we've never met who we've never met and you have to have a little bit of like okay this is a professional experience here you know what i mean like ice cube comes in we don't throw ice cube in the fucking bathroom and start playing like weird games with him because it was a pr thing and like you got to be like okay let's let's keep it a little bit above board so that kind of person, Stoolies probably think that this is the wild, wild west where we can just like, you know, hit on chicks that show up. But that's, that's, that's a pretty bad territory to get into to start hitting on chicks that show up as part of their job. Gotcha. What about in, in bigger thing, I guess, would be, and again, I, I, if you did that secondly, like I DM no contact when they're here. I, we don't have this conversation. That's the, I may make fun of it, like, oh, you thought I had a chance. But I'm not like – the more. and I didn't even think about this in real time, but the more – like these people are coming, they all talk. They all have the, like the same PR. They all have the agencies. Oh, yeah, I went to Barstool. I got hit on, like, instantly. That's not like what we want people sure. to think. No, I get that. And I, I, I don't think that the girls uh, – I can't speak for them, but I don't think that they would have perceived what I did as a an aggressive come on. That no, they, they, they were good with it, but you can't – you don't know – like the PR lady who was also there was more like taken aback by, by like them two. Like she was like, yeah, it's a little bit weird. Hmm. Yeah. Also, and this is – this this when you go into it and you think about it, and I'm like, do I have a crazy person sitting here <laughs> – so you did the old lash, you slid into her DMs. You 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 yeah. blogged that, correct? Yeah. Is that the first time you've DM'd her? I'll have to look. I don't think I don't think so. No, it's not. I think I tweeted a message to her. I think you DM'd. Like I think I know the answer. Wait a sec. Let's look. Well, I know the answer. That's the first inst uh wh- why? What did she say? <laughs> she says when you got here, you never met her, but right when you started... Yeah, you- yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Aaron, I saw your segments on Barstool. Sorry I wasn't working at the office yet when you were there. Hope you make it back in sometime. She said, I hope so, too. And then I said, you live in New York? No response. So, is this what you're going to do for every single girl <laughs> who associates oh, with that's us? That's a little... Francis, it, it, you it, have it's to changing understand. your dynamic a yeah. little bit. Like if we, if a girl comes in here, a hot girl, are we gonna have to put you in a birdcage? <laughs> like really? Do you see how that could be a I problem think, I for think us? From this point now, uh, any girls that I do like uh, a sit segment with, I'll just 
but you didn't even myself. do you you weren't even yeah, work you, here you, when you the had last never year. even met her you just were <laughs> yeah. like hey i work at barstool hey i saw you were at barstool like two weeks ago hey what's up oh yeah sure <laughs> and that part was conveniently left out of the screenshot yeah he was showing it the was message. like well there's also okay i mean full disclosure there's a whole piece where she and i are corresponding about how to make this look funny what right after uh no yesterday yeah yeah where, but we're talking about the dm you sent her like two months ago or right, a month so, ago I mean, but i mean clearly did, she's completely on board with this what do you mean it's not about her it's about you like just hitting on every girl who comes in here since, since when is it all right you know what fair enough i mean i like girls what can i say guilty but, is charged but that's not the point at all the point is we have an office of 50 guys out here if they're all doing what you're doing we have a major problem. But now I'm a little confused because you said that if I had DM'd Danielle after she left the office, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We wouldn't. Which is exactly what I did with Aaron. And yet there's no, a problem. No, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron's like borderline psycho behavior by you because you weren't even here. Like right. you did it like- I think Aaron's, the the, the point that, that that's weird about Aaron is you literally DM'd her like your first day working here without meeting her being like, hey- I now work at Barstool. What's up? Right, and I don't want that. By the way, I don't that, want our employees to be like I'm now Barstool. Yeah. So you and, and yeah. you were here. You hadn't even had a cup of coffee. Uh, that, that might not be true. I don't. know. Well, you've I only mean. been here for like three weeks. What was the date? <laughs> the date of my first message to Aaron was January 18th of 2000. That was five days in. So, so you, <laughs> Francis, I'm good with dates. He was here January 13th. There, that's why we have. He's so, a numbers guy. So, so he's a numbers guy. Love it. So, so could you see how? That could be a problem for us if we hire somebody brand new and they're already, this is like, they're already, hey, I'm Barstool now. Let's just go down like the list. We can't, like, I don't really yeah, want Yeah, I get that. it. I get it. I don't mean to uh, trade on the company name for the sake of, of meeting women. Yes. Right. I, that that does be, seem unprofessional. Yeah. Well, and it's also, I, my problem with it is we have, we fight against the barstool's misogynistic barstool's a bunch of creepy dudes we fight against that every single day we've been fighting against that for years and years and years and i think our reputation and dave's reputation is look we talk about chicks we we talk about guy stuff but we're normal regular cool guys that aren't creeps so if we kind of if that starts to blend and people start to be like hey this guy just hit on me out of nowhere and said he works at barstool that's when the bad look starts to come in sure and, and, yeah, so I'd agree with that. And I don't want to make it sound like I don't think Dan or I are saying there's benefits to Barstool with girls yeah. and things. But the the vibe I'm getting on you is every single chick now who walks <laughs> in here is going to get the Francis Full Court Press and they're going to get it instantly. The reality of it is if you just waited like a couple of months, little, you'd have chicks sending you nudes and you wouldn't have to do this. It would just start happening because that's what happens at Barstool. Like, that there's definitely a factor of Barstool where there's some some women who like the guys at Barstool because they're the guys at Barstool. You just had to wait like more than two days. Well, well, I, don't, I don't have the I don't have the the admittedly I don't have the clout that you guys do. I don't. I don't. But, but that I, yeah again I I don't think that's it. I just think there's ways to do it in which you know we're not coming across as whoa it's weird and, and the, combining those two instances so fast. It's so fucking fast to be throwing those no, cards yeah. out. There should have been like a week grace period, at least. And to know you're going to Houston, too, that was a little weird. Like, obviously, you'd see them. I mean, I don't. that doesn't bother me at all. I, I wouldn't, it, knowing that Dave was going to go to Houston and see them uh, yeah, wouldn't I, have stopped me. It, no, I, I don't, yeah, I don't DMing even know. Them. It's not that. I, I For that, this one in particular, the second one, the SI thing, I, again, guys are going to be guys to a degree. I get it. I'm fine with it. And, and but. The in the office, I know you're not saying when you ask, is it single? And you ask multiple people and you ask for emails to send like videos before shit like that. That in the office should not happen in the office because even though you're like, oh, they were cool with it and they were, they were super cool. There was no like animosity or anything like that. If you hit somebody and you put them on the spot, like that's like you can't really put somebody on the spot when you send them like a DM or something later. Mm -hmm. But when you ask those questions kind of in real time, you can put somebody on the spot. Yeah, no, I, I was pretty sensitive to that, though. I thought you, with Kelly, I thought I was pretty sensitive. I how remember, so? Because I said, is Danielle single? That can but be. That, do you not get that can be like a yeah, weird no. question? It's very different from me being like, hey, 
It's different than you taking your dick out and being and, like, right, but single. you understand that, the, so, like, we had just met her. That's not a good I had it, done a, you guys didn't see it. I did a 20-minute interview. Oh, oh 20, 20 fucking minutes, guys. In. Forget right. about it. I, my bad. Might be 20 minutes. All right, fair enough. Listen, you no, know what? If it's a fireable offense, it's fine. No, it's offense. not. I, I actually think that, like, it, this is a good, because at the end of the day, this is all, Nothing bad happened. It's all good. You know what I mean? I mean like uh, no one know. should be freaking out about anything. You but you do get that, like when a when a woman comes to the office and it's her job to come there because she's there on a PR thing. She has no idea what bar stool is. We should reasonably th- they should reasonably have the expectation to not have people being like, "Hey, is she single? Hey, can yeah, I get your I, number?" You know what? I'll, I'll make this promise. It won't happen again. I don't know. What do you want me to say? No, you don't have to say anything. It, it, the combo, though, of you playing the hero role was was like oh. I played the hero role because the role was given to me. The, the fact that you were sanding me so hard behind the lines, sanding you, yeah, like w- whatever, you know, shitting on me. Oh yeah, that was real though. That wasn't like that was something. Again, the people like oh, you cock blocked them and whatnot. We said this before. I didn't even know you talked to them. Like I, they they were giddy. To like bring me into the the mix. Oh, I'm and and that's you know. Good. I mean, I, I agree. Content. Listen, listen. I, mean, I I I am not so arrogant as to think that I had a a decent shot with those. Oh, well, I know. No, I think you thought. You, you, you're, you no, are that arrogant. I but you thought, know what? I actually thought. What's the harm in taking a shot? Right. And now I've learned from you two. Right. There is harm. No, and I there's get no, that. no, no. See, you're 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 misunderstanding it. There is no harm in taking a shot at a woman. The shooter shoot thing, that's Agreed. fine. Agreed. It's the time and place. Sure. It's the using bar stool name to try to like slide into DMs. That's all. It's if you if you w- see a supermodel at a bar shoot. and you go up and you're like, hey, I'm Francis. What's up? Like. Good for you, dude. That's awesome. Like you have the balls to do something that ninety nine percent of all men don't have the balls to do. And, and Mui even may be different. I I would have literally, if it was just as easy as like a couple days later, like, hey, it's Francis. I met you and you did it. I right. don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. That that's fair game. The 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 swiftness of what you did it here <laughs> is what is was alarming to me. I just thought that was my only shot. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect. Okay, we're back. Uh, France is still here, and we're going to take some calls, see how people think. I think people are going to be – yeah, she was. I, I thought she said she didn't even know you guys met. Uh, I think my gut is people will be against Dan and I and still on France's side. Of course side, they will, and, and they don't understand that at the end of the day, Francis is winning in this whole entire thing. Like, you gained, like, what, three, 4,000 followers. You had a, a funny blog. You, you, you win. Like, this isn't oh, – people who are upset – they, they they take everything so they're so angry whenever like Dave says you know you can't do that but sometimes there are times when we can't do stuff but you win right. like this is going to be a good story for you and I knew I re- you you recognize that I recognize that Dave recognizes that like there's no there's no real hard feelings here no like, in fact I I, I I I wouldn't take it. it was great content so it's a moving forward like I'm glad it happened right. I need content right Mike what do you got. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, happy Happy President's Day! Thank you. Uh, first off, I understand why why Francis took uh, took this shot, man. Uh, he's been feeling himself. He got the dream job at Barstool, beat cancer, wink, wink. <laughs> but uh, sometimes you just got to take the layup, man. You just got to pass the rock. Sometimes that it's kind of a big shot for a ginger. Um, I'm all I'm all for taking your shot, but that was just a little bit little bit out of your league, maybe. Well, yeah, but, and again, so, we don't criticize the other league. There's right. a time; it's time and place. Time right. and place. The league thing makes no difference to me. Francis has confidence; like he's a confident dude. He should take shots that he wants to take. Like that's chicks dig confidence. It's just sliding into chicks DMs two days after you work here, and then also you know hitting on supermodels in the office. <laughs> that's a little different. And, and, and I will say, it's maybe the most bananas thing is. Still, this thought I wasn't hitting on him, but I asked Kelly Gale if she was single. <laughs> it's like well, that's, that's as no, clear no, cut. I, I don't think I was hitting on them. Uh, you know, it's it's the thing that we'll never agree on. Which yes, is that I don't think I was hitting on them inappropriately. Correct, but just hitting on them in any nature it that is quickly. Rules, and I get not that. not yeah, not only against it's, we don't I guess the handbook. But no one's hurt. That's the thing, and yeah. I know people. Uh, this is something that obviously stoolies are going to love to talk about till till the you know forever 
No one's hurt. Francis, there's no hard feelings. You should shoot your shot. Just maybe have a little more tact yeah. to know that, like, you know, we shouldn't make people feel uncomfortable if they come to the office. And it's sure. not your necessarily, I guess, place to be like, are they uncomfortable with me hitting on them or not? Like, right. That, right. That's, uh, I, we can't know. Right. Yeah. So, John, what do you got? Hey, go Preds go, brick by brick, not stick by stick. <laughs> Fuck funny or die. Fuck cancer. All right. What do you got? So, I wanted to talk about Francis. First of all, Big Cat, you're talking about Barstool is not a place where you creep on girls. The, the whole reason I found out was about Barstool was when you were creeping on the weather girl and got blocked from that. So I never got blocked. But, for, Cheryl Scott, you mean my friend? She's a she's yeah. a friend of mine. I never got blocked. So what are you talking well, about? Well, that was the rumor. What? Was no, the rumor, wh- from where? You started the rumor. So wh- where was the rumor? The the rumor was on uh was on Reddit. Okay. Anything well, those guys for ni- ninety nine point nine percent of the time they don't know what they're talking about. Cheryl Scott is a friend of mine, and I've talked to her many times. Yeah, of course. The, some of those videos were pretty funny. Whereas, like, I re- will remember you when she got changed from ABC to NBC. I wasn't sliding into Cheryl Scott's DMs being like, hey, let's hook up. What are they talking about? That you made content videos? Yeah. A huge difference. And she's a friend of mine. Huge so I don't difference. know why people think I'm blocked from her. Huge difference between doing stuff on the site. I mean. She's J- Dante's girlfriend. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I mean, that's that creep side of it. Like, I mean, the Michaela Maroney. Like, I, I've had like 10 girls. I've gone overboard creep. But those are like public facing creep things. Like, I've actually never dm or talk to like michaela maroney right uh, all right well out of all the things i think france is just trying to slide into a a dm like that it's one of the least creepy things I've but heard. we're that, not that's but you you're still opinion. not understanding like the point that like when we say like oh m- you know dave says michaela maroney is hot on twitter yeah th- okay you could say like oh that's creepy but it's all public and he's just saying it out there when a woman comes into the office and you start hitting for a job that she doesn't even want to be here, and you start hitting on her, which is obviously semantics, that's different than tweeting, Michaela Maroney looks really hot today on Twitter. And I'd also like to say, I, I'm clearly, on, I, I think I've said a lot, just strictly DMs, like, hey, met you at the office like two days, That's that yeah. I, I don't have an issue with. My my thing was the in the office instant that that was my thing not not the dms on the side that i think is pretty much fair game like even the old lash thing which we brought up that I that i don't think is like wrong i just thought that's crazy like i wasn't like oh my god that's a thing it's like woo, that's like a little bit odd i, I, I just this is francis i, I would clarify a, a an interesting point that uh you made john was it john yes um and and that is that you know the public sort of affection or or the flirtation when you tweet at a girl or you make a video with a girl it's very hard to develop that into like let's say a date right because you're kind of playing a character with them and there's that it is all above board and it's safe but i it would be very hard to transition it's like the moment you're like okay now that was fun hey but let's go out for dinner on thursday that very moment is when they're like oh this was creepy right that's exactly right yeah. Right, so you just nailed it. Like, there's obviously a, a, a public thing where if you're making content, your video, I'm sure you said some borderline creepy things in your video, but it's like, that's clearly a video, a character thing, everyone's watching it, and then on the side, a conversation that's different. Right. I don't know if, yeah, I'm confused, I don't know if I just got Harvarded. Did you just, like, indict yourself? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, I was He's, trying to talk yeah. about what Dan said, which is that, like, you know, it's... It's a big difference between, and kind of what you said, um, you know, just like working with a girl and, and you can be like as sexy and ridiculous as you want versus behind the totally. door. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Right. Totally. You know, totally. right. right. When the cameras whatever. turn off, yeah. you can't keep it's, being like, oh, haha, like, you, you know, you're yeah. so hot. I want to fuck you. Like, that's weird. <laughs> right. Sam, what do you got? <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, Francis, dude, for being a ginger, your self confidence is just. Through the roof, it's straight up mind bo- mind bottling. <laughs> you know what mind it is? Bottle. It's his voice. Francis has got a good voice, yeah. so a good uh, voice goes a long way. I f- I'm serious. <laughs> Thank I'm you. serious. Thank you. You do have a great voice. You sound like Owen Wilson. <laughs> yeah, you have a deep voice that like chicks dig deep voices. Well, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, as much as we make fun of my red hair, it, it's one of those things that starts as like a goofy icebreaker where I can represent being self-deprecating. 
and then once the the guards are down they're like oh he's not a threat he's a, he's a ginger next thing you know um you know we're, we have kids so there you go it's a shock tactic shocking tactic that's, well that's why they call it a shock of red hair so yeah. <laughs> Hey, Prez, just have you guys, like, in, over the years, I mean, have you had this problem before with any past employees and, like, macking on, on guests or, or chicks well, that you guys have? Well, here, here's, here's, here's what we got. We got a new – we live in a new world. So right. we were talking about it a little bit earlier, whereas the hiring was much slower. It was a much, I guess, tighter-knit unit. So, no, not really. It's Every, been, yeah. Everyone would know what, what everyone's doing. There was never, and it would never be like that quick, or it would always be known. We have a lot more, I guess, things like Francis, rogue, well, doing it's, rogue things. It's just the growth of Barstool has been, especially in the last six months, has been so like fast that, like Dave said, we used to be this really like small family. Like, like for instance, two years ago when we went to the Super Bowl, it was literally just me, Dave, Gaz, and Hank. That was it. There was no one else. This year we were at the Super Bowl. There's a ton of people. It was great. Everyone is great. And then the party after at the Totino's house, there's like a hundred people there. Yeah. We don't know any. Yeah. Like Loud we don't know any of them. Loud so in the bushes. The family like- is a lot bigger now, and it's a lot harder to control a large family than a family of like ten people that you all know. And I will say, even though it's bigger and and Chernin's evolved, I still, when I'm looking at like. Glenny's computer here with the Viva La Stool sticker and Barcel Sports. To me, that's still me. Like when when if, if that image gets out, like they're a bunch of creeps. That's me. They're right. talking about me. Right. So like having all these new guys, I I look at it a lot. Like I again, I have no problem with the after the fact, the M and stuff. Would I do it? Yeah, I'd probably do it if I thought I liked the girl and there was a connection. I have no problem with it. But if I wouldn't do it like real time like that, and that's. I'm very still protective, even though it's much bigger, when I hear things that I think puts Barstool Sports in a bad light. That's putting me in a bad light. That's how I look at it. Uh, Dickie, what do you got? Yeah, like when I originally uh, heard about this whole thing, I was uh, I was on your team, Francis. I thought it was kind of a, a dick move, a, cuck, a, cuckable, a cuckable move by uh, by Prez. But, uh, you know, now learning about this Olash thing, that's fucking weird, dude. Like, you're like a serial creep or some shit, like, when you first get hired, you do that right away. At least wait like a, like a month or something. Dickie, you sound like a guy who who gets a lot of women. So I'd love to uh, I'd love to talk about it with you. Um, are you? Oh, okay, big guy. Oh, okay. How, how's it going? Like you're calling middle of the day, listening to Barstool Radio. His defense the is President's Day. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. there's no. I, I don't have work today. Gotcha. And by the way, we nice. want people to listen to the show. Just FYI. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, um, have you never? Have you never? Like, you don't reach out to girls on on uh, on Twitter on on Instagram. Like, what's your method? No, I don't on Twitter or Instagram. I mean, I'm not. I don't have like the the you know. I'm on the public eye. I guess you are a little bit now, but I still think if I was in your situation, I I mean, I'd probably do it. I'd just be a little more, like you know under the radar about it and gotcha. I at least wait a little bit he, he's yeah. right i yeah. mean there's no doubt about that like it, it it to me i'm like i have a big zero like you're psycho like honestly doing it that quickly almost like instant hire going back to me that's like that that again i i'm not like oh i don't think that makes us look bad like a dm private whatever um it just makes me think i gotta watch like i gotta be careful well i would also add that i I've been talking to girls. I was talking to girls before I got here. It's not like I just so, changed my methods all of a sudden when I got well, here. Well, no, you did. You started throwing in barstool. <laughs> yeah, I would so, say sure. you did. You I, threw I'm, in barstool. I'm all yeah. for you continuing to talk to girls. Right, but in like your before, before when you do it, I would be like, "Hey, what's going on? Nice to meet you." Like, I'm a comedian, and then my job Stick changed, with it. and it was like, "Hey, I'm what's going on? I work at Barstool. What are you up to?" Yeah, but if you if she sees the DM, she clicks on your profile. She sleep, she'll see that you're on Barstool. That's I meant that's a mental I mean, leap. I mean, you're asking. No, I'm a lot fine. There. No, I'm fine with that. I'm fine even seeing on the leap. But it, it's it's you threw a Barstool card in this case to somebody associated with Barstool who you hadn't talking met. about. Aaron? Yeah, it was it's it's a weirdo move. Even take this incident aside. Just hearing that story to me is like, ooh, that's a little weird. Well, I guess my point would be like, I'm sure she gets thousands of messages from had, people had you, being like, had you hey, what's messenger, up? Have you messaged her before you were at Barstool? No. Why not? Because she would ignore it. Right. So it's like, so you, like then when I get the job, I send a pretty innocuous, I didn't ask her out. No. I it, just broke the ice and I said, 
like, hey, what's up? I'm an employee now. And right. by the way, I want to get her in to do the Saturday sit down. Right. I think oh. you just need to jerk off more. <laughs> really? You just but seem like, horny. That's I want to like, so, so you I wanted, wanted to you wanted, you, did we even have the Saturday sit down? No, it's something I've developed. I know, but when did that start? I'm trying to do what Dan does, which is you but build these but, relationships but, 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 with people so that you can get them in and work with you them. You are a psychopathic liar. Because that's, that's not absolutely true. not why you contacted Aaron Olash. Absolutely. I mean, it's crazy. We have to that replay that. Speak. I mean, it's just crazy if for you to sit If we get here. her in for the Saturday sit-down as a result of the fact that I spoke to her in that way, then I'm going to make you eat your hat. This guy is crazy. <laughs> I mean, say what you want. That is why you were contacting Aaron Olash, the long con, to get her in to do a, a, a bit that hadn't been developed yet. <laughs> Best radio, solve. I mean, you said he's crazy. We had it ready.